Mind power, mental principle is all ego and not real. The Holy One, Brahman, is the basis of the world. The mind cannot comprehend divinity. One must surrender the mind to God by not clinging to form and desire, by becoming formless. Swami, leaving the body is an invitation to release clinging and rise into the formlessness of divinity. False teachers claim a mystical direct connection with divinity, beyond the questioning of mortal man. The danger is that city ego mind power can look like God power, as is the case with Madhu, and claim being beyond human questioning. And we can be fooled by a dream or a materialized object or someone telling us our secrets into believing that Madhu is God. The difference between mind, ego, city power and God power is love. <laughs> Ego-based city power divides. God love unites. It promotes non-attachment. The emptiness of Buddhism, the non-dual Advaita of Vedanta. It is the difference between the false mysticism of Madhu's divisiveness versus the true mystical oneness wisdom evident in the messages. Madhu versus the messages. They represent a war in the mind of man, a battle between non-truth and truth. The way we choose has vast consequences, as Christ said about false teachers. They are raving wolves in sheep's clothing. So beware. God. The fearful reality created by Madhu is a raving wolf that promotes the falsehood that the limitless is limited, that Swami taught only kindergarten while Madhu now teaches a more advanced level, or that Swami planned to move to Mudanhali when Swami told us that he would always stay in Prashanti or that Swami didn't finish his task because of limitations, therefore coming again in a shuksma form, and now in the madhu form. Don't treat the holy relationship with Parabrahman Sai so lightly to fling it away as a play toy, poisoning ourselves and future seekers with ignorance. Realize our holy duty to protect love truth, the path to union with Parabrahman. The 
messages say that they are from Parabrahman. Message two, that Swami is a manifestation of Parabrahman. The infinite, boundless, pure love consciousness from which everything emerges and merges back into. Notice that in line three, Swami is referred to as Dondempai Dempa Satya, an obscure Tibetan Buddhist term meaning absolute truth, not Shuksma. Why would Swami describe himself in these two terms, which mean God, not Shuksma? I think because he is the one behind the many who manifests himself in all traditions and in all languages. As the last two lines in message one say, whatever the form desired by a divine being, that very form the divine being becomes. So completely consistent with Swami's teachings are these messages, we understand that they are from Parabrahman Sai. Let's review message one. In this first message, we find that the speaker is Parabrahman. This is the first of 14 messages that Jackie the patient received. This first message written by her is a Sanskrit message written in English script. And there are two English words as well, through and in, which help us understand the meaning. Let's look more deeply into the meaning of this first message. Brahma Pura Astika, Ahama Asmi Para Brahma, Dande Empai Dhyampa Satya, Asmi Svarasa Truyoni and Suvapna, Yadiyar Rupam Kamiyati Nidavata, Tadaj Nidavata, Bahavanti. Brahman is the highest reality. Pura means city or citadel. The body itself is considered a city or citadel. The meaning, you are the city of Brahman, or Brahman lives in your heart. Whoever is addressing her, addresses her as the embodiment of God, then declares who he is, Aham Asmi Para Brahman, I am announcing myself to you that I am the highest Brahman, Para Brahman, meaning the potential of everything, the consciousness, pure consciousness, that created the whole universe and universes. And here, Jackie translates the last two lines of the first message which is the refrain in other messages as well. Now, this is very interesting, the one that I can always remember. I cannot uh -huh. distinguish what word means what. Okay, but just, just the sentence. Which is, whatever the form. Form desired by a divine being, that very form the divine being becomes. You don't know any of the words separately, though? No. Here is the meaning of the first message. Believer, the embodiment of divinity, I am the absolute Brahman. I touch you through Yoni, female principle, creation, in the dream. Whatever the form the divine wills, the divine can take that form. noteworthy is the fact that the messages say that the speaker transmitter is Parabrahman divinity. Sadananda Rupa 